All right, are you ready for this? Because I'm not. Hey everyone, I'm Artie. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm getting milk from cows because I am sick and tired of constant attacks on my field. And they are destroying bots, are destroying everything. And I have to rebuild it. Not like everything, but they are destroying not only crops, but I had to... Uh, rebuild my car, I had to rebuild the resource collector and it happens all the time so I'm tired of that and I decided to move but first I need to eat and drink and since I don't want to for now plant anything because I don't want to get attacked I have to rely on milk right I don't want to gather corn and then look for cows because it takes too long so I thought that I'm going to catch me one cow and then I will be feeding it and she will be giving me milk and this I will have secure. Which brings us to the first construction we gonna build today. Don't mind that, don't mind that. My trailer. Get down. Yes, I put that up there because bots were attacking it and destroying it. So. I'm gonna get this trailer now here, don't mind that, and don't mind that, not yet, um, and build or construct, what are you doing? So I want to construct, add to this trailer, closing cage, so I can catch lost farmers or trapped farmers and cows and any free moving objects I want, except bots because they would destroy everything. So this will be first from construction. Next one will be rebuilding this car because I'm tired of its shape and form and it's pretty freaking fast. So I've decided to change, redesign it and change its look to make it look like dragster, you know, with large rear wheels and smaller front wheels. So it looks like dragster, like I said. The third thing would be Moving out. I don't want to live in that chapel. I'm tired of making, uh, you know, walls, fences. I tried everything. Bots are getting here anyway. So I don't want to station here. <laughs> and like I said, I'm tired of constant attacks. So I'm going to move on this up there. So what is this? This is measurement system I've created to build me quite unusual, I would say, uh, elevator. And for this, I have built my... I don't even know how to call it. Let's get it outside first. So this is very simple utility vehicle and it opens like this and it goes up on pistons, right? not gonna show you because I have to be up there to now how to get it down okay it can go very high um, I'm gonna get down to show you <laughs> this piston has been upgraded so it's even higher now luckily before I build this I have this little invention here right because i had to go up there without my lift car so you see simple and here will be my new base on the roof so once again opening cage here dragster and elevator in this episode i don't have much time i'm out of milk if you ask me why did you do pipes here and here it's like wooden gate I don't know but you're right it's not good all right so we have nice bumper now extension here bearing and yeah why this because I kind of want to make it go all the way to end here it's such a waste already and it will make the trailer heavier yes I know, thank you. But it looks pretty freaking cool. All right, here it is, the frame. Now, and already, why it has to open on the side? I don't know. 
Oh crap. I am hungry. I need to stop working. I have nothing. Eat it. Give me milk. All right, I'm good for now, but I don't have much time. This one's done, this one's done, and long pipes here. I really have to hurry. Here, here, done. This is still too high. But anyway, now controller. I have one, and it can be connected to one. Let's upgrade it. Two. It's too slow, but it works, and I have to do something with it. I need one more freaking component kit, but I have no time for this. So what to do with it? Let's do simple blocking blocks. I have an idea for better attachment to a connection between trailer and the car. But for now, let's make it simple because I'm starting to be hungry. Got it. And got it. It's of course very heavy, but... Oh crap, wheels. Okay, there's no time. Let's catch me a cow. Wow, it's freaking heavy. This is why I need dragster car with bigger wheels on the back. Open it up. Great. Oh, milk. Drink it. Yo. Don't go there. Come here. Here, here, here. Everything will be fine. Okay. No, don't, don't, don't go. Don't, don't fall off. It needs to be higher, way higher. I ain't got no time for this. Don't glitch. Okay, now she's okay. I made it too low. Okay, let's go. Don't freaking fall. Wow, this, this trailer is too heavy. She died. Okay, we're gonna drive slowly now. This is so glitchy. <laughs> She's dragging my car, damn it. And she died. Let's modify this fantastic construction. Bearing and wheel. If she dies now, then I don't know. Damn it. You know what? I'm very disappointed. So let's do it old fashioned way, aka stick on a carrot. And let's see. Oh, this is boring. She don't even want to go here anymore. I have to push her. Eat it. Don't go back. Go in. And stay here. Wow. All right, so this would be first point of this episode. Pain and fail. Well, shame. Look, they want to go to her. I don't need three cows. I wanted one. I have three. All right. But now I have to gather tons of corn to feed them. So I've done some thinking and I decided to redesign the trailer. Because it sucks and it's my fault. But first, let me take a selfie. No, first, a gate. Because one of my cows ran away and the other one died. I don't know why. How? So, the gate first. Something like that. And something here too. I think this will be okay. Now I need controller, switch, let's connect it and to the switch and it's closed and it opens, nope, 90 degrees. All right, so back to the trailer. So this is what I've done so far. First of all, it's going to be taller. Second of all, no barriers, you know, but it's going to be like cage. Still, of course, separated, right? So let me build it fast. Okay, 
so it's like sections opening here opening here and here and this section will be the roof which will be opening too it works well very nice now the roof and done with the trailer it's heavy it's bulky it's absolutely not needed but it looks cool and it works i have no idea i mean if we had like lions or tigers in scrap mechanic then i would have nice use of it but this is just just cool okay and of course it's gonna be heavy duty uh, trailer of course i got the two resource collectors and yeah i will need powerful pickup truck to pull it but yeah i i just want to use it you know i'm thinking of adding more wheels maybe even wheels outside the pipes to make the the, the platform to the floor wider all right so dragster pickup truck will be the most challenging so let's skip it for now and get to the elevator i want it to be cargo elevator of course i will have smaller elevator uh, to just transport me up and down but this one will be like super heavy wait where's the where's the floor for the elevator i'm building something i exit the game i come back and it's gone where is my cow there you are will you stop i will need tons of bearings and tons of small pipes long i still have milk reserves yes so let's eat so let's drink <laughs> and something tells me i will have to go hunting out of metal blocks so normally you think elevator you think pistons right not in this case i think i broke it yeah but i'm thinking about something unusual unusual elevator mechanism not saying that it's like something you haven't seen before because i don't know but something i came up with to make it more interesting and not just build a bunch of pistons and you know instead i'm gonna build a bunch of long pipes and bearings so now let's find the middle all right i will weld it later because it's not on the on the lift so i'm still learning you know now four long pipes one two three four now we lead pipes outside bearings down and i think you get the idea four long pipes again and i'm out of metal so i have to go and hunt some bots get some blocks oh look it appeared here seriously it was gone and now it's found this should be enough right so let's go back to the base all right so something like this and let's see if it's gonna work i hope so okay so we got it and now what we do is i have no idea so this is all good and i just have to break it now it fell like strider in half-life okay so now we take something is wrong here yeah it's three not four okay stupid me let's build it once again because seriously get in there go and stay okay so this is what i wanted to do i think so <laughs> anyways so now let's just connect it yes a bit wider but it's okay look where am i even this is ridiculous all right now i have to install it over there here right my goodness i hope 
rip lift car <laughs> say what you want but i've done it i have no switch it's not perfect it's absolutely ridiculous and i think it's not and it needs to be stabilized here goes ridiculousness i'm scared I'm gonna break it. Actually, I did not. Something's wrong. I don't know, it's so not stable. See, I passed out. What if I made it four pipes in total? One here, one here, one here, one here. I'm gonna do it. It's getting dark, so let's just test it real quick. Come on. Don't do anything with it. It's the worst place for the elevator. Okay, I'm in. Now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I need four holdings. You know? When I was starting this episode, three real life days ago, I had just three ideas in my head. Trailer with opening cage, truckster pickup truck and cargo elevator. And this is the first time I play Scrap Mechanic. I've never played it before. So for that three days, real life days, I've learned a lot. I have the trailer, which is completely useless because cows are dying. Maybe it's good for trapped farmers. Elevator, well, I've built it. I have tested it and it's working. I've learned to package things and I've learned that I don't have to build up. I can build on the sides and all that. So the, yes, the elevator is working. It opens on both sides. I will adjust it. Let's install it up there now. So how we do it? We take it on the lift, we go to another lift, we'll lift ourselves up, slowly but surely. We are being very careful, some platforming to do. So I'm up here, now I have to put the elevator down on the lift, get rid of the lift. We take this side and there we go. Now we get rid of the, I call it packaging. And goodbye. I have two controllers because 20 bearings, two controllers, maximum upgrade, which is 10 connections. And now I will be pretending that I know what I'm doing and I will try to connect and make that elevator work. And now I just realized it's five and five. I've learned a lot and I still don't know crap. However, I think I can use logic gate. I said I've learned a lot. And I think I can connect both. We'll see, okay? Now let me connect everything. Nine and 10 on this side. And nine here and 10 
my goodness, lots of running. 10. It's all connected. Invert everything. Just to, you know, make it look like I know what I'm doing. Logic gate and. So this and this side. And now configuration, which is, I don't even know what to do. I seriously don't know what I'm doing. Like seriously, I'm I'm not even joking. I'm 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 really serious now. I'm scared. I seriously whoops. Yeah. It stopped what? Oh, I think I know. So 290s and rest except the last two 180. Yeah, it worked. My goodness. Look. I, I don't know what to say. It's actually working. I mean, you know, I'm just new here. And maybe it's not, nothing impressive, but... Damn it, it's working. I think that this bouncing can be solved by turning this bearing and this bearing on each side, of course to make it um, vertical. If we connect this logic gate to this logic gate and this logic <laughs> gate to this switch and this switch, right? And this logic gate will be or doesn't work. Oh, I made it work with one logic gate. No crap, I didn't. Okay, I made it work. Look. Going up, right? And going down, of course, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, stabilize yourself. And now this switch also works. Third switch here. Damn it, it's all working. Impossible. Now dragster pickup truck finally so i thought that it would be good for me if i build first the frame the chassis suspension and all that and then the body of the truck so i've spent a day and came up with something like this and of course i would like my truck to be to have hydraulic suspension and I did it now tell me it doesn't look cool <laughs> okay now I need to figure out the front wheels the back is just copy here and um, so I thought because wheels uh, here the rear wheels will be the big ones right and I could do something like this, triple band. Now here wheels will be smaller. Now we all know it's not so easy to make hydraulic suspension because piston does not connect with directly with bearings. Also, the suspension part is not connecting directly with bearings. And piston is not connecting directly with the suspension part. So I came up with something like this. It does connect to pipes. Now front wheels have to turn, right? So I have this idea of inverted suspension to make it still low rider. Now we go pipe up, double band. We can connect the piston here. Why I'm not using the lift? Piston. Now this pipe. Bearing. And bend. And bearing. And small wheel. This is not small wheel. This is small wheel. Okay, 
so it sits nicely. And it works. And it turns. I'm actually proud of myself. And I feel like kind of real mechanic with this build. I was struggling first that cage trailer. Oh my goodness, it's yeah, well, it's pretty cool. Gotta have that grill, right? Right. Looking good. I think I want it to open. You know what? I will leave it for now and put the body of the car in. And guess what? I've made it already. Told you I spent like three days making this episode. So now we have to connect both. Of course, doors closing. So let's connect it, shall we? We got connections here, here. So I will go with this one, which would be here. Where's the lift? Let's weld it well. There we go. I have no friends, so no passenger seat. I will have my chest here and you know how it is. Okay, wheels. Need to borrow that. Front wheels, rear wheels bed door i don't know how it's called never had pickup truck in my life this looks actually yeah this is better than i expected this is actually drugster truck looking like vehicle this episode is too long let's connect everything door oh i need controller how nice i got one here it opens and closes all right too slow like seriously too slow but okay okay and it's working also not as fast as i would like to i forgot about the roof but okay uh, I got some glass on me, yes, make it great, sunlight, come on, I cannot wait, <sighs> let's take it outside, my goodness, this is it, took me three days to make this episode, all right, are you ready for this? Because I'm not. Everything is configured. Everything is connected. Close the door. I mean, open this door. Close this one. This works. Everything works. And the suspension. This has to be... <laughs> it has to be faster. Close the door and check this out. This is so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. It drives actually good. It's too wiggly. Let's see why. Whoa, that was something. Suspension limit two, limit and two. Well, it's a little too soft for my taste. And it needs engine upgrade.
now with with the front wheels lowered no chance to drive wow i like it yeah the rear suspension has to be upgraded more stiff but i really didn't expect it to work so well only that when i want to sit out you know catapult what if i make it three distance let's check it out Ooh, this is nice this is so cool no 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 except that it's a little wiggly because the suspension is too soft this is just the best someone's chasing me no wow i have the coolest car in scrap mechanic i don't know about the others because i have no friends but <laughs> seriously hey i'm if i changed the switch to that button i could actually do it anyways <laughs> next episode we are going to move up using the cargo elevator i i'm just so happy started this episode three days ago <laughs> and i've built everything i wanted and it works and this is the best thing ever thank you very much for watching see you in the next episode now i will need uh, fuel so submarine and drill you know my style so it's not gonna be simple maybe too ambitious but i need to get that stone here with something something heavy so see you in the next episode thank you very much for watching thank you very much for all the subscriptions and thumbs up and that would be it for now this is so cool bye <laughs> i need a handbrake